Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, more Chiefs are heading to sea. Peepers Online is being updated. CNP welcomes the Royal Australian Navy and a message to sailors from Secretary of the Navy. The Navy announced a new policy this past week that aims to improve fleet manning and warfighting readiness. The Navy anticipates that more than 1,100 senior enlisted supervisors could be returning to sea to fill critical leadership billets in the next several months. The policy change will place a greater emphasis on career management for Chief Petty Officers. Assignments for enlisted leaders, including those selected for Chief Petty Officer, will be reviewed to maximize fleet manning readiness. CMP said that Chiefs are the Navy's critical leadership element and it is essential that we have our deck plate leaders, including newly selected chiefs, where it counts. On ships, submarines, and aviation squadrons, and other operational or fleet production units on the leading edge of our combat teams. Read more on the policy in our story on Navy.mil. Bupers Online will be offline for two weeks starting August 25th for system updates. Many of the applications sailors use will be affected, including PRIMS, Officer Data Card, Electronic Service Record, OMPF, and more. NPC has established a number of workarounds that will allow sailors to continue to access certain systems during the outage. Bupers is expected to be fully operational again on October 3rd. Read the article on Navy.mil for additional information and links. CMP welcomed Royal Australian Navy Rear Admiral Michael Noonan and his staff during a visit to NSF Arlington last week. During the two-day visit, they discussed personal issues affecting both navies. CMP also lauded the Royal Australian Navy and thanked Noonan for being a great ally and friend of the United States Navy. Read more from the visit in our story on Navy.mil. Our new Secretary of the Navy, Richard V. Spencer, sent a message outlining his expectations for sailors, and he said, we have an opportunity to make a contribution towards a more effective, versatile, resilient and lethal organization. Reset NAV's message by clicking the banner on Navy.mil. That's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct and Navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.